Well guys, welcome to another edition of the uh, Airbrick Scottish Australian. It's not under John Anderson, but never mind. Uh, today's episode, <laughs> today's episode, we're going to be doing um, the Yaki, the Yaki um, starter kicking, starter kit in whole. Before I start that, I'll just tell you the story. Um, I was on, I was looking for um, a travel brush on um, it was AliExpress, looking for a cheap travel brush and this was out there, this is the Yaki Milky White Resin 20mm I think it is because my little Prorassa one was a bit small so I wanted something bigger Anyway, I got this on AliExpress I was on um, Facebook in one of the shaving groups and we're, I'm talking about, obviously talking this about this brush and one of the comments that, because we're, we're talking brushes basically, Yaki and other Yes, the whole, the whole lot. Anyway, um, one of the comments was to me, because I'd mentioned that I was in Australia, and one of the comments was, you do know Yaki's in Australia? And I went, no, I didn't. So anyway, I looked up the site, and then I went on the site and started looking around, and I seen um, the Yaki Star Kit, which is this, this is the, the um, what do you call it? Sculpt head, the normal, the normal one, and that's the the razor. It's a black razor, sort of. It's got a tiny bit over hand here, but nothing really. It's got good blade alignment. You can probably see that there yourself. But the thing was, what impressed me the most was this. This is my hard scarf cup. I soaked my brushes in that, and here's what really got me. I mean the whole the razor they sent you five open the saw blades but I put my I put my I even now we're putting my Gillette ropes and saw blades because um I'm used to them. But anyway, here's the brush. That's the Familia Sagora or something like that. I mean close enough but beautiful brush. I mean this is just the thing of beauty. And look look, see that bit there where you put your fingers? Absolutely I think at the time I was looking at the start set anyway, but when I, when I, I seen this brush, that just pushed me right over the edge. I thought, nah, I'm getting that. And it was only it was about it was on special, it was about maybe thirty nine, something like that, forty Australia. So and that was posted like free postage, but I think I'm not sure. I can't mind, but I mean it, it is. It's a lovely brush. I also got my um, this came about a few days before, this is my first it's Colonel Comp sugar it's Colonel Comp Bay Rum and this is just like a, a beautiful stove so what I started doing basically was I started um, bowl lathering because I was still getting like rashes on my face I still wanted them back again, you know the, the bumps even though I've, I've been soap lathering now and again but not really that much but yeah um, just put a bit more water in there. Uh, I've got my, I think I've told you about this anyway, the soup bowl. This is what uh, we we'll found when we were, every day, because that was in January when we were cleaning the cupboard. And I still, I've got a couple of shape on, I've got, I've got the travel bowl that I've got for um, Van Uli. I've also got a Parker bowl that I've never used. I've got the little thing in here that has the Van Uli soap in it that, um, it's more, it's a bit small, I, I like this big, big one, you know. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to load up this brush. And rather than do it on my face, I'm, I'm just for a change, I'm going to do it in a bowl, because that's what I was doing at the time. I was also, lit after that, I watched um, Kevy, Kevy Shaves, and he was cutting, you know, with a little knife, so I brought my knife in, cutting little bits out the the puck, basically, and putting that in his shaving bowl and then mixing it up and making a lather. So I tried that, like I mean, <laughs> I did try that, but I didn't like the fact that, um, I didn't like the fact that when you cut it, you had the little, you know, the, the dents in your soap. So I've since spent the last um, while, um, Trying to get rid of the dents by using the soap. But um, yeah, I'm just mixing this up. I might need some more water actually. Oh, shit. Just to drop it in. 
I'm still getting the hang of um, making a, a massive lather, a huge grab, I don't know if you guys do it, but I don't see, I don't know if it's the water or whether it's me, but I don't know, it doesn't really matter, I got enough food so I can do a shave, but some of the guys that you see, they get absolutely, you know when you watch it on YouTube, you're bound to watch other shaving shows, they get massive ones, like watch um, Adam today when he done a live, and like his brush was just incredible, but the thing is, I don't know how much time they actually spend, you know, to get those brilliant lather. This, this is mine so far, I'm sort of getting there, can you see that? But, um, um, <laughs> I'm, all, I'm always in a rush to get the shave happening, you know what I mean? Get the shave on! I mean, the lather's just a little... I bloody love the smell of this stuff, honestly, this, this, considering it's, um, a cheap, I got like the fair of them, so it's still reasonably picky. But considering I got the five of them, four of them, sorry, for like 20 bucks, I think I paid $10 postage. Um, I'm getting myself a plate of soap. I'm just going to walk like that off for a minute, get my face cloth wet. Because it's always handy to have a face cloth lying about so you can just, when your hands get covered with soap, you can just grab it and wipe your hands off because mines are well covered in soap. But the, br the brush wouldn't slip, it just. Me, I don't like what he being a how could I put it messy or yeah, that's coming on, but uh, but uh, let's see if we can get any merit on people don't know what I'm doing. Right? You see, you see them on uh, YouTube, they just um, run the tap a wee bit and just dribble some onto the brush, dribble some in the bowl, and away we go. And get this, see if we get this happening. And you'll be the first to see me get a, a massive lather, but I don't think it's going to happen because I don't think I'm a massive lather. Oh, well, maybe I'll. Um, no, just to show you. Can you see that? Um, yeah, that wee bit of water I just put in there. So I did. I just sent it nuts. I think as well, I'm a bit heavy handed, I think. Because, like, when you. Um, when it, if, I, if I'm doing it on my fist, you know, face lathering, this might be a long video because I'm yachting too much, but um, the, when I'm face lathering, because I tend to put with the brush, I'm a bit heavy handed, and a lot of the soap that um, I'm making, or lather that I'm making, it actually goes into the brush, and I have to sort of squeeze the brush and bring it up to the top, because I've put that much force on the brush that the, the soap's vanished into the brush. But here we go, this is coming on. So you wanna, I wanna show you how good the lather this brush could do, but no. This, honestly, this this brush is brilliant, I love this brush. In fact, it's been my number, my old, well, not my only brush, but I mean, my main sort of go-to brush since it came. I also got, I was watching a video, I've not got it here, let me show you that another day. I got the, um, the Yaki Timberwolf, the blue one, it's like a long, it's 26 and sort of got a longer neck on it, you might say, a loft there, uh, loft. Because I've seen um, DE shaving with Kit and he was going through the differences between um, a, like a brush that you would use for soap and a brush you'd use for creams. And he reckoned that the Timberwolf was good for cream, so I've got that. But I found it, to me, right, me personally, I got that just as good a lather with both of them, but. Ah, and with a little, that little uh, travel brush, that is excellent, yeah? Because it's just, it's just a fine job, and I, I showed you my wee, uh, I did, I showed you my little crystal skull when I did the travel thing, the little, I've got four little crystal skulls, <laughs> like they're a bit like a quarter of says, <laughs> oh, uh, Ken Subs, but they're all, all good fun, mate, all good fun. Anyway, there, there, look, I'm getting that, it's just, that's just what I do, I would say. It's not moving any place, so what I might do, I might get started rather than keep you here forever. Um, so yeah, that, that was what happened. They ended up the the, the brushes discussion then ended up with uh, getting the Yaki starter kit. And then um I ended up getting the, the Yaki um, kit's choice, which has got three different heads on it, and you could make it into this like beast or razor that is really aggressive, but I'm not put it that way. Yeah, I'm still still using either the, the scalloped or the melon head because they're 
the melon head, if you're sort of shaving every day, the melon head's perfect for that. It just um it just cuts right through it and just uh, it's it's just good for an everyday shave. If you if you're planning on shaving every day, it's just that. I mean as long as you can get Bobby one pass. If you, you shave late on one day and then early on the next. That's my parasol pre-shave. I still love this stuff, you know. It's funny, I went into the the local, one of the local, one of the supermarkets, I have to go and buy, get um, fire lighters for the combustion here because it's starting to get cold here. So I was in there getting there because they have fire light lighters that I like. And as you do, and you just have one that about and he knows you what's in there. And I go into the shaving section, normally I hear there's cartridges and then your tins of foam. But this time I go in there, they the full selection of Prorasso, everything. But mind you, they're a bit expensive, like, because I can buy it online or the shaver shop for like $13, $14. These were all like $19, $20, but the fact was that they were there. They still had, didn't have a D razor there, but they did have um, Prorasso, which I was quite thinking, hmm, I wonder if we're going to move on and get some razors. I mean, they'll soon bring the prices down once they realise they're going to spend stuff. They'll probably just, you know what, it's like it's supply and demand. They'll look about check out what's going on elsewhere, like online, and then somebody up high in the, the group will make a decision and say, right, that's it, we're putting price on it down. Because I reckon if they put it in there about 15 bucks, I reckon that they'd sell it. But, who am I? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to... Oh, I've got this as well, I think. I'm pretty sure that with the Yaki set as well. It's a, a Yaki brush stand. I mean, that's for the, the brush, but it came in this beautiful... Um, so it was like a, a box and I know nothing, just like cardboard, but the, the brush actually came in a cardboard brush box where you know the clear thing so you could actually see it. I've still got the box, but it's, it's through another room. And um, yeah, I'm funny that way. I keep on, I've still got my Edwin Jagger box as well. That's still a, a great razor, still a lot of razor, but, but this is not too bad to be honest with you, I quite like this as well. And if you were a starter, thinking about it, if you were a starter, beginning to start razor, there's some of these starter sets are just like really, really good, you know? And anyway, um, there's my, my brush just to let you see how good that lather is, and then you go and put it on face. And um, yeah, so. That's what, that's what happened the last time as well. I keep dropping it. I don't like dropping lather, so I'm trying to hold this, <laughs> hold this bowl um, close to my face so it drops in the bowl and catches it. <laughs> but um, yeah, see like that. Lovely brush. And see how I did out that soap there? And um, like still the soap's on my fingers, but um, I'm still able to hold it. Yeah. Because of that little ridge you might call it, you know. Maybe a wee bit touch of water. Maybe you know, who knows? <laughs> I like my lather sort of I could put it really, really um wet, basically. Um I don't like it. I like it to be like really wet as in um, no okay I can't explain I just like it wet so I mean, it's still looking a bit dry so I might just put a wee drop of water on it dip it in a wee bit because that's going far from that let's see this look I'm just going to tap some off there I probably had it right the first time, and that's what I mean. I tend to put my air on to get it thinner, I suppose you'd call it. Because that's the way I like it. <laughs> I think I'm probably because I shaved that long with shaving foam and shaving gel, I think that's the way I prefer it on my face. But this, this kind of conk, oh, I love the smell of So I think we've done another video talking about the kind of conk as well. And uh, one of the guys was saying, um, it was Flash. 
was saying that um, he likes amber. I've not actually tried amber yet, so that'll be my next step. Anyway, that looks like enough lather on there. My fingers are covered in soap, and I'll get my the old face off. <laughs> just tap, just want to be just to go um, Anyway, I don't have the eye of this kind of thing where you would clear the wrong way, it's clear the lips. Like, ah, I'm daring that crap. I just, um, I can see what I want to cut. So, anyway, we're going to be going on the first pass, straight down, and there's the razor. And uh, for any of you that have heard of the um, Kiwi slide, I'm not doing that. <laughs> there might be a few of you that have heard it. That's just one of the ones we do on uh, Facebook for a while. Well, certain people do, but it's always fun. You hear that? This is a lovely little razor, honestly. It's just, I love the colour, the black. Because like, all, all my other razors are um, silver, or chrome, what you want to call it, silver colour. And um, this one just uh, comes out black. It's really, I think it's really cool actually, but that's me. Maybe I'm just getting old. <laughs> no, I don't think, oh, I think it's just, it just fits. And look, it matches my phone. Oh, you can't see my phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm just in a laugh. Chris, you're, you're wondering, this is getting recorded on a Thursday afternoon, but 4.45, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So I finished, just finished work. I want to try and keep, keep going at uh, every week for a new spell, not a new story, but a new episode of the story. And then you'll be able to see, oh, I remember him at the start, and you go back and you look at my videos at the start, and you say, Oh, look, you couldn't even lie them, and then they're still kind of lie them. <laughs> but, um, Now I've cut on here. Because I've still got loads of razors, I haven't tried it. I oh, know loads, I've probably got three or four. I mean, like the, I've got the, the Future Clone for Q Shave. I've got a. 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 a barley. or bailey, you want to call it. But they're cheap, um, Chinese, Japanese, or oh, I can't. Cheap it's a cheap razor. I know. I wasn't speaking while I was doing that, but <laughs> cause, uh, yeah. We're here. What's that fucking, sorry. I've started growing a forest. But he, nobody used to get much here. They're a little tasha, but I mean, it was never sort of anything spectacular because my hair was a, I'm, I'm, it was originally like a, a redhead. Well, no, a redhead, but no really the dark gingery red. Made of a, a strawberry, probably, not a strawberry, yeah, probably a strawberry sort of blonde was my natural colour. And um, then, Obviously, I got over, older, and there was no grey, and I just went straight white. And just all of a sudden, white started coming through, and originally, I was getting my hair coloured. Um, little poser. But, <laughs> but, um, no. And one day, I think, I think it was because, I think we had to be the hairdresser or something, and normally we go to six weeks, but that time, it, it was broken out, and it went on to, I think it was about eight or ten. And my natural hair colour had come straight through being white. And my wife says to me, Oh, never mind that, that looks quite distinguished. So you can guess what happened next. I says, Okay, let's see, we'll let it come straight in white and we'll, we'll see how it, go, how it looks. And um, that's exactly what we did then. I've, I've never had a colour since, but look, still got a good job with that stuff. That's starting to smell's really coming out now. Must have met like this beer. You like a lot of. Uh, that's what I'm saying. The fun's starting now. 
Like, where am I now? It's like soaps. And um, I'm, on, I'm on my soaps and probably a bit of a, a bit of my, um, what do you call it? Um, splashes, change of splashes. It's quite funny actually because I think it was maybe 19. I've always used, uh, I think I've said this before, but anyway, I'll say it I've always used Aramis or Paco Rabanne. Aramis first, but that, that, when I was working over here, Aramis was a bit expensive at the time. So it ended up, um, I'm just going to grab some of this off my finger and chuck it on my face. Um, Aramis was um, really expensive. No really the stuff you want to use for um, wearing to work. So what I did with it then, I found Paco Rabanne and I quite liked that. And that was um, like 40 bucks or something, whereas this time, like the Aramis was over 100. So I wasn't going to be wearing that to work, not spending that sort of money on it. So I liked Paco Rabanne as well. So this was like, I'm talking like 20, 30 years ago. So I went on a Paco Rabanne. <laughs> and then that was me. That was my two aftershaves. That was it. Paco Rabanne, Aramis, nothing else. So, start shaving. Hmm? And I've got, um, next week I'm going to be using the PAA starter kit. And that's got the barber shop and that's got the splash or aftershave, what you want to call it. Right, we're going to go against the grain. Which is, um, that way. <laughs> uh, the, the Paco Rabanne, that's across the grain, sorry guys, I'm hopeless. The second word is grain. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're across the grain. I'm just trying to make it. Um, yeah, so, I the fun start to start. Well, was starting to start, it's better now because I'm further on, but because you're getting um, tress soaps, like, I mean, obviously the Van Uly was like, I quite, I quite liked it, didn't get it wrong, I mean, Van Uly's lovely soap, but she ended up, she, um, she had a death in her family, so you, you couldn't get more soap, so sort of being careful with what you might say that, um, The usage of it, so I was trying to mark it last, basically. I'm still, still got some of it left because now all this bling and other stuff's come. Can I uh, um, like got there? Because when I ordered the PA, that particular kit, I'm dead the man, man. That particular kit, um, came, I like here and across the green, just so you know. I'm gonna go, oh, I'm just opened that cop. Um, <coughs> uh, uh, no, I think that's that. It's funny. Certain parts of my face, like under my chin and that, I could shave across under my nose usually, but just here, I could never seem to get, I don't care whether it's the, me or the razor, <laughs> that's probably me, but, um, got to carefully the end card. I've noticed recently now, I've got to make sure I get under here, otherwise, come on, you finish your shave, you put on an eye, I'm going to see if I can splice this back together. I've no idea if I can or whether the whole video is wrecked. But somebody just fucking phoned us. Not happy, John. Ah, shit. Right, anyway, I'll see if I can get them, the two videos joined on somehow. You don't have to hand me do that, but I'll get a try. So we actually see it, you'll kind of manage it. Because otherwise, I'm going to need to do another shave. <laughs> Well, you just hate that. Everything's going to plan, and then somebody comes in for work early and decides the phone and says, What are you? Just shit you. But anyway, right. I'm going to uh, continue on. Okay. Yeah, still a wee bit of blood down that stuff. I'll be right. So, uh, 
We're going to go over there. I'm going to go. Again. Mm. Against the grain. Probably everywhere apart from that bit of my nose. Because that'll probably be. Um, what do you call it? Nod blank. But anyway. I'm going to do a quick four passes. I'll do my three, like you know, your, your normal pass, you're across the grain, and then you're against the grain. And then I'll squeeze it the soap and I'll do another normal pass just to pick up anything I missed. And then we'll do it. We'll finish up and do the usual, but anyway. Right, so, oh, we're going against the grain, aren't we? Uh -huh, right. Uh, this soap is absolutely, for the price of it, it's absolutely amazing. Hear that? Oh, I still hear whiskers there. Or it might just be me. <laughs> the whiskers will be saying, so he's seen a video, let's quick jump out! And just as the razor gets them to run them off. But anyway, I'm just drilling. The my troll area there, just here. Oh, it's down there. You can see it's a bit of red there, because I'm honing in on it. Might need to get the old black card, but... But, um... Yeah, this is a lovely razor. If your hands are dry. <laughs> I'm just trying to, trying to make it. It's funny, I've seen these, uh, what you might call uh, more expensive, because I'm, I'm, I'm at my razor stage now. I bought the razors I'm going to bet at this point in time. But um, I've been looking at that Rex Ambassador or, or the. Um, what's the name? Rockwell 6S or 6C, or what it's called. Actually, the 6C is only about 50 bucks or something, and the 6S is about 100 American. But um, I'm thinking, so I've stuck with that many razors to go through and try. You know what I mean? So, what's the point in being another egg now when there might be on sale next week, there might be a better, an upgraded model, who knows? So, My razor days are over for a till get out of the year I reckon. And hopefully that time I'll be a job hand with the razor. I'll be an absolute expert. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen, but anyway, we'll, we'll carry on just we'll just see what I am. Shaving, but I ah, see the bleeding right there. Right, what we're going to do, I'm going to do another pass. Although it's really smooth. In fact, I'm going to do another pass and go around the island. That's what I'm going to do. Normally, I don't use the island, but this is feeling pretty smooth. It's a bit just in there. Maybe I've got my chin again, but something. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go in with this foam. Lather, whatever you want to call it. I think the main term you guys call it is lather because um, foam is sort of a no no because that's a <laughs> gunk, as you call it. We used foam for years or gel, I used to like gel as well. But this um, shaving with um, soap is just a whole new experience. And we need a bit more of your. You're mixing up the lather and the aromas that comes out of the bowl. It's just like incredible. A little bit, especially this, this beer rum for the money. I, I can't, I can't go on about enough about it. Can okay, I nice that? It's like a bloody. This brush just, it just seems to handle anything. It handles cream. It handles soap. It's just because it's tried to be like the the travel brush. I tried to add that when I was in forward as well. And you think about it, right? For value for money, 
even this brush on its own, it's only about, I reckon it was on special, so about 20 odd dollars somewhere. And that, I think that, the other end of travel brush was only about 18 posted and shipped to your door. So, and it's a great little travel brush. When you say that, I'm getting some into some of the little fun. I've got one artisan brush up to now. But I don't think I'll, I'm not sure I'm going to get any more soon. But, like I always say, you never say never. You can't want to do that. I don't want to waste this, right? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to want to squeeze it out and chuck it on my face. Well, chuck it back on the brush and put it back on my face. Because it's um, noise. It used to be a showing on TV. It used to be nice to see you, to see you nice. You're probably standing there watching this or sitting there watching it on your your phone, which is what I usually watch my YouTube fans on. And on occasion we even watch the watched YouTube on TV. That's a laugh. You see these people that you're watching on the shaving channel and they're huge yeah, in relation to uh, what you normally see them. I normally sit at the back, play with the dogs, watch them. Uh, YouTube channel, shaving channels, music channels, phone channels. <laughs> That's sort of my three go-tos. Music, shaving's fairly recent. Music's been in it for a few years. And um, uh, mobile phones, because, um, just because I like phones. But I'm just turning it on, I'm going to get them back on. Anyway, here we go. I'm just going to do a quick pass. I may splice some of this out because it's just uh, going on the way. I was chucked the brush in because I'm getting rid of that. I can soak and then get cleaned up and that. But, um, yep. Right, let's do one minute pass with the grain. Hopefully, the razor doesn't slip in my hand. Nah, it's all right. Careful, John. So that's what happens when you um you can you've had a good shave, right? So what do you do? You try to make it better by hitting another pass. Like you can always feel I already feel that that's, that's a great shave I've had, right? Absolutely. Probably you guys call BBS, but no, the other would get BBS because I was here this area here. But I'll get I'll get BBS off the sense. But it's because I'm funny, right? No funny, pernickety, fussy, we want to call it. See here, right? I reckon my my fingers up that way, right? Like that. BBS, right? Come down that way, and I could just feel the. There's sort of still stuff there. You know that you can see it and my wife wouldn't be able to feel it. It's just because I'm that bloody fussy. I can feel it. I never realised. If you got um, a call while uploading a video, but yeah, the video stopped, eh? I thought it might uh, pause. Careful. This soap though, slickness, incredible. Well guys, there's the razor again, the Yaki um, DLC, that's it, DLC Scallop Ted. Great razor, I've just had a, a really nice shave. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to give myself a rinse. I'll, um, I'll chuck on some alum. Let's, let's just, don't grab this from your face, I'll first just get soda now. I'll just uh, be easier to rinse. So, my nose. <laughs> anyway, 
Sorry, it'll be so long. I should have done it. You, you watched the Kevin Shea video when he done uh, he put his morning, morning, morning. Long, long video. It's quite funny actually, but anyway. But when you want, sometimes when you want to, you're actually shaving, but you're also um, chatting away and you want to tell, like, the reasoning why you've done certain things or you've bought this brush or. Oh, yeah. That's Christ, that's a. I was just cold water. Uh, that's uh, quite impressive that one. I don't like chuck, I like chuck like chocolate on because I can feel it. I've come in, um, see that's that, what's that? I don't know what I'm going to call it. I'll own the rock or whatever I'm going to call it, but this stuff was, it was just cheap. I haven't got that out of a shaver shop or something. But the reason that um, anybody uses it usually, unless I've um, had a really close shave, which is what I've done today. It feels, oh, feels great actually. But I reckon uh, when I finish this, I'll be baby butt pit free in here. Unless I'm able to shrink it back down, but it's okay. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna use the alum. I'm gonna use the witch hazel, because I always use witch hazel anyway. It doesn't matter what, but uh, Never always use that one, but always use witch hazel. And I'm going to, I don't know, no, I don't need to show you this. I'm going to use a surprising aftershave just for the, the fun of it. You guys probably have heard of it, but I'll just be uh, me. <laughs> when that when be story will tell while I'm putting it on. Oh. I might be a lot of chill, who knows. I forget, that's the thing, I forget like from one video to the next because I'm sort of telling a story and um, some parts of the story I might repeat because that's what you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, especially me, I tell, when I tell funny stories, I mean, I've been telling a lot of the same funny stories for years and years. They're still funny because they've actually happened to me in, Maybe certain people in your company when they heard a funny story, so and they got on a topic of conversation and when they got on the topic of conversation, uh, you think, hmm, ah, I, I, am. I was in a situation similar to that. So you tell me story. <laughs> but uh, anyway, what we'll, we'll do next, I'm gonna be using um, my bulldog, right? As I'm going through this, well, I'm trying to minimise what to do because I, I, I tend to put too much on. So what I've been doing, instead of dabbing it, or my, my fist sling one dot 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 like I used to do, now I just roll it on my hands and then put it over my face, my neck. But rather than doing a little bit of time, it goes straight in. So there we go. But it's quite nice, um, moisturizer, because it's actually moisturizer, it's no sort of, like you've got after shave bombs, but this is more of um, a moisturizer. Yeah. Gone. See if I pop back up tomorrow though, but you can sort of, you can see like the cut's gone. And it's just a tiny anyway. Anyway, while we're, we're waiting on this drain in, a couple of seconds, it's quite a, a thick sort of moisturizer. Here's what I'm going to be using today. <laughs> Here's the funny thing, right? Brick. Now, when we were in the UK, I'm talking, oh, oh, 16, 43 years ago. Um, this was like, this was called Brute 33, and it was a standard uh, joke 20 pence a gallon or something like that, something stupid, because it, you used to be able to smell for about 500 years. Well, maybe that's probably an exaggeration, but. That's what it seemed like when we were kids at the time. And we used to start the, the Mickey about it. But anyway, since come out here, I've seen it on the shaving channels. Oh, Brute, Brute, let's try Brute. So I thought, seen it on especially like Coles and me being the web, me being me, I see it going cheap. And what do you do? It mean, it took us three, three times before I actually bought it. When three times it was on cheap, and it was the third time I bought it, but. Once it settles in, you get like a couple of hours 
mean, it's not too bad. It's not as strong as I remember. Oh, maybe they've changed the formula. Who knows? It's actually, I don't mind it now, being honest with you. And for like six bucks or whatever it was, I bought one. I'm not going to complain. Anyway, I'm just going to do my hands and switch it off. But don't know how this is going to go together when I put this in. I might, I might get fucking do the thing out again. But such is life. I mean, all good fun. And if I can't, if I can't get it together, the next day might be funnier. Who knows? <laughs> See you, boys. Thanks.